Logan Salo here, uh, pitcher for the Rancho Cucamon Quakes, with another pitcher from the Rancho Cucamon Quakes, Ryan Mosley, 48 and 49, if you guys didn't know. Um, we're sitting here, uh, just celebrated our uh, Cal League Championship. Ryan Mosley, how do you feel? How do you feel, Ryan? You know, I mean, right now a little cold. It's a little cold. No, besides that, I, I feel great because, you know, we've had a good group of guys from the beginning of the year that uh, this guy got traded over. We've just had a lot of... Uh, a lot of friends come and go throughout this whole year, and it's good to finally get rewarded for the hard work that we put in this year. You talk about hard work. Hard work is uh, it, it, it comes and goes as uh, the long season that we had ahead of us. Tell me your feelings about the first half of the year versus the second half of the year and, and how the Quakes really turned the corner. You know, the first half of the year, the very beginning of the year, we struggled a little bit on defense, and uh, once we got through that hump, you know, I felt like we were the best team the whole way through, and we have been ever since then. And we won the first half, and then the second half we dominated, and from then on we pretty much knew that we were going to take it all. We had all the confidence in the world. You can agree to that, can't you, sir? I, I agree. Um, are we <laughs> I had it. I was, I was in there. I was, was in there. Great. I was trying to freeze frame, and I couldn't do it. Connor McGinnis is our pitching coach here in Rancho oh, Cucamonga. And uh, we almost, almost, we we're so close, so close to the uh, ERA title of the regular season. And I just want to tell you, what, what has Connor McGinnis done for you as a pitcher and for you as a person? Oh, me as a pitcher. Man, wow. Don't even know where to begin. You know, I feel like... This guy, I mean, wow, oh, I'm going to tear a hole on me. Hold on a second. I'll give you a second. Yes. Wow. You know, I was thinking last night, I was like, just thinking who to thank in my Hall of Fame speech down the road, and the only person I could think of was Connor McGinnis and Jesus Christ. So, that's all I got. I, I agree with you there. Connor McGinnis. <laughs> oh, my God. This is great. This is great. <clears throat> I agree with you there. Connor McGinnis has been an integral part, integral part in my development as a player. We are in high A baseball right now. We we have aspirations as players and people to be major leaguers at one time in our life. And what Connor does for us as players, not much as people, as players. Not much as people. <laughs> this is brutal. This is, this is so hard. This is so hard. Poise. <laughs> Poise is something that's hard to come by here in Rancho Cucamonga. Poise. We're really good at it when... Um, Laid back. We're right beside the mound, and we're really good at it when we're on the mound. Poise, P for Poise. Capital. Capital Absolutely. P for Poise. Absolutely. However, right now... Oh, I said... <laughs> I almost Poise. want this for my own. Yeah, yeah, thank right. you. It's really good. Just see you guys in a little bit. <clears throat> it's okay. John Axford uh, just interrupted our interview, but it's okay. Antonio um, He'll... He'll be better one day. Anyway, um, this this moment is about us. This 48 us. and 49. Forever. Forever. Hopefully in double A. Maybe. And <laughs> <laughs> Go Quakes.